Welcome everyone to Cinema Spotlight. Diving into Guillermo del Toro's career, we will be talking about The Devil's Backbone. The Devil's Backbone is about a boy named Carlos who has been dropped off at a remote orphanage in Spain due to the Spanish Civil War. Left under the care of the two people who operate the place, Carlos finds himself wrapped up in the drama that festers at the orphanage. If the war-torn orphan boys weren't enough, or the desperate adults searching for hope weren't either, Carlos encounters a ghost that torments him. So, this is a film that you would consider a gothic horror. This movie has a great blend of horror and death and a smidgen of romance, to my understanding. That's what makes up a gothic tale. But that's what Guillermo excels at. He always blends drama and horror really well, and that this is just the start to his craft. This is also starring... Federico Lupi, which I'm sure I pronounced the last name wrong, but I know I got the first name possibly right. I just know I botched it in my first review that he was in. But this is the second time he's in a Gamero production, and he was really good in this film. But the other person that I want to really shout out here to is the one that actually acts along with Federico, and I gotta look up her name because I keep forgetting. Arissa Paredes? Paredes? I am so sorry about the last name. But... Larissa is really good in this one. Being the technical third film in this f filmography, you can really see that Gilmero has dabbled in both independent production and official productions. Kronos was independent, and that film was really good. Mimic was not so good for me, but you could tell that it had a bigger budget, and, uh, you know... I just did not like that movie, although I do, in, I do enjoy aspects of that. I, I just know that there are other people who actually enjoyed it more than me. And then we have Del Toro returning back to more of his independent roots by creating The Devil's Backbone. This is where you really see Gilmaro's strengths. When he's allowed to create something, and he is creating something that comes from him, it's something extraordinary. He blends the right amount of drama, horror, and the character arcs are so satisfying, or at least satisfying enough, that they create an effective narrative. To which, as I was finding myself in this film, at first, I just kind of found this film alright. The first act of this film is slow but deliberate. It's setting everything up to what you're about to see, and if you're looking for scares, I think I would just want to help you to understand you might need to tool your mindset just a bit, because this isn't some scare-fest extravaganza. The horror is very subtle in this film, but it works. It's blended very, very well. As my journey into this film continued, I found myself amazed on how everything was coming around. I became more invested, interested in the drama and how it was unfolding. That's where I got thinking, horror is only going to work if you care about the characters. When they go up against trying times, things that could threaten their existence and make them desperate to fight for it. And if you don't care, Nothing works. Nothing. I found myself caring more and more until the very end where everything started to make sense. I had a bit of an emotional journey with this film and I found myself respecting it on how it was told. So basically on a technical level and in a storytelling level as well as characters, this really kind of hit all those check marks. This is a solid movie and it's not very often I just found myself going, eh. It's all right. Uh, oh. Oh, this, this is actually good. Oh, oh, wait. Shit. This movie's great. For that, I loved The Devil's Backbone and would own it on Blu-ray. Definitely have this movie in my memory bank. It's not going to leave anytime soon. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've seen The Devil's Backbone, let me know down in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss another video. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.